I was sent this reverse osmosis water filter system by Von Water to go ahead and do an unboxing and installation video of it. Now, keep in mind, you will have to have a hole in your sink if you want to use this reverse osmosis system. Hopefully you have one that's already pre-drilled. I used to have a sprayer here on my old kitchen faucet, so this works out good. But you'll have to drill a hole if not. And this is the size, 16 inches length, about five inches width, and about 14 inches height. Here's all the parts and accessories that come with the Von Water reverse osmosis system. First thing I'm gonna do is install the water dispenser for the reverse osmosis. This is pretty straightforward. Insert the faucet base, rubber side down, over the bottom of the faucet, grab the washer and the locking nut, then head to underneath the sink. Having someone hold down on the faucet from above definitely makes this process easier. Once I'm sure that the hole is covering the gap, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down on this pretty snug with this rigid multi-tool. Then I'm gonna hook up the white pure water hose to the faucet and I'm gonna slide this over the provided slip coupling. I tried my hardest to get it right to the black mark, but it would not go, so it's just shy of it. Then I'm gonna give it a little tug and then insert this locking clip so that it won't come loose. Remove the cap from the pure water dispenser, then slide the coupler over the bottom of the pure water dispenser as far as it will go. Insert the locking clip. Next, I'm gonna install this cold water supply valve. And it does come with an adapter, but it didn't come with the 3A adapter, which is what I need for my situation and most every situation that I've seen for kitchen sinks. When I contacted Von Water, they did send it out. I just had to wait five more days to install the RO system. But when the adapter did come in, I noticed that it was missing an O-ring. One part had the O-ring, but the other side did not. So I was gonna try and make this work by wrapping it a couple of turns with some Teflon tape and just to see if the threads themselves could make a watertight seal. Turn off the cold water supply valve, remove the 3 8 connection going up to the kitchen sink faucet. Screw on the 3 8 adapter, the one that has the O-ring. This is why Teflon tape is not needed right here. Screw on the water supply adapter. Reattach the faucet hose. Before I hook up the supply line to the RO system, I just want to test for leaks to see if the Teflon tape does hold. And as you can see, it did not hold. We got a slight drip. So I took the water supply adapter back off and luckily I had an extra kitchen faucet sink hose that was fairly new and had an O-ring in it. So I removed this O-ring and it does match up with this adapter pretty well. Remove the Teflon tape from the adapter since I have an O-ring now. Reinstall the adapter, test for leaks, and we are now leak free. Next, I'm gonna hook up the RO water supply line, slide this compression nut, over the big blue line, then slide the blue line over the nipple until it touches where the threads are. Thread on the compression nut all the way until it stops turning. Next, I'm gonna install the pressure regulator a couple inches down the blue line. I'm using PVC cutters to cut this water line. Make it a mark right here so that I know how far to slide on the pressure regulator. Make sure that the arrow is pointing away from your water supply valve. You want the arrow going to the RO system. Don't forget to install the locking clip. Next, I'm gonna install the wastewater line. To do this, you'll need a quarter inch drill bit and a drill. Take the drain saddle apart. Line up the rubber part that has the hole in it to the drain saddle. Sticky side down so it doesn't move around. 
Now we're going to set up the drain saddle onto the valve, line it up with the hole. It doesn't have to be perfect, not just yet. Make sure that the nuts go on the side that has the shape for the nuts. This will lock the nuts in place when you're tightening it down with your Phillips head screwdriver. Insert the gray hose into the hole. Insert locking clip. Now I'm gonna install these hoses to the RO system itself, trimming them down so there's not a lot of hose underneath the sink. Going to do the same thing with the remaining hoses. Just make sure that you are hooking up the hoses in the correct spot. When attaching the power cord, you need to make sure that the grooves line up. It will only go in one way and it should push all the way to that red O-ring. Once it's to the red O-ring, go ahead and tighten down on the locking nut. Now I'm going to set my reverse osmosis machine into place. And then slowly turn the water on and check everywhere for leaks. did not have any leaks, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. Also on a side note, I did have to install an extra receptacle underneath the sink as I only had a single duplex, which was already taken by my dishwasher and garbage disposal. And yes, I did cover the receptacles once the outlet cover came in. Last thing I need to do is mount this power supply. Install is done of the reverse osmosis system by Von Water. I want to thank Von Water for giving me the opportunity to test this out and make an installation video for everyone. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. But until the next one, my name's Dave. This install is done.